Now some sports news. Former IPL chairman Lalit Modi has slammed the BCCI after IPL team Deccan Chargers was put up for sale as the owners invited bids. Modi has said that the wheels are coming off the IPL bandwagon and that the board will have to struggle to find buyers who are willing to pay big bucks for IPL teams. $650,000, the bids with the Deccan Chargers. IPL 1's third most expensive team. The Deccan Chargers have been put on sale. And with owners Deccan Chronicle Group having trouble finding new buyers, former IPL chairman Lalit Modi has slammed the Indian cricket board as the wheels seem to come off BCCI's million dollar baby. Unfortunately, the ratings have been falling in the last three years. Uh, the sponsors have been not renewing and they're the there's a sign of trouble of things to come. In a last-ditch effort, a tender has been floated inviting bids to back the Deccan Chargers. But it comes with a rider of being accountable to clear the team's financial liabilities. Deccan's troubles comes days after IPL's title sponsor refused to renew contract. We have seen problems with Nimbus, we have seen problems with Kochi, we saw problems with Sahara, there's problems with uh, uh, Rajasthan Royals, there's a problem with Kings Eleven. Unless the BCCI gets his house in order and does not have so many fires lit, there is going to be everybody wanting to get out. Sahara paid a whooping 1600 crores two years back for the Pune franchise. But Modi expects Deccan's resale value to be much lower. There is a problem. Let us see what value he gets. If he gets a value higher than Sahara, I'm, I, I will not blame Mr. Srinivasan. If he gets a value less than Mr. Sahara, Sahara has paid, then I will blame Mr. Srinivasan. Following the announcement to sell the Chargers, a corporate group has shown interest in the franchise. But reports suggest their valuation is much lower than the 1200 crore valuation done by the BCCI. So will the board find a suitable buyer on its terms or is this a sign of more troubles ahead? Sports Bureau, Times Now.